Welcome back to another video and today I am going to be showing you guys how to add HDRIs to your Roblox GFX in Blender 2.8. So I'm not going to be really showing you guys how to pose your character or do anything like that, but if you would like to see a video of how to do your very own GFX in Blender, like how to use a rig, how to pose your character, how I do all the things I do in my GFX, please be sure to leave a comment and let me know. And also leave a like if you are excited for this video and we will get started. So the first thing you want to do is get rid of these two elements that are just hanging out here. We're not going to need this cube or this light up here. So what you want to do is now they changed this in the new blender instead of right clicking you are going to left click the cube and hit the delete key on your keyboard i'll show you guys a picture on the screen so just hit the delete key and it'll be gone so now we're going to click the light as well delete and it's gone okay so now we are going to input our character really quick so hit file in the top left corner you're going to go down import wavefront.obj and then you're just going to find your OBJ from Roblox Studio. If you do not know how to get your Roblox character OBJ, click the info card in the top right corner and it'll take you to my old GFX tutorial. You can check it out. It'll show you how to export your character from Roblox Studio and how you can get this file. So now we are just going to click the OBJ one and open it. So our character is right here. Now we are going to get into our camera and line it up. What you need to do is hit the zero key on your number pad. Just like that, I'll show a little picture on the screen. There's another way to do it if you do not have a number pad. Let me check really quick. So how you can look in your camera if you do not have a number pad on your keyboard and the zero on your number pad, what you can do is go up here in the top left, hit view, cameras, active camera, and it'll put you in your camera view. Now how you move your camera is you hit shift and this key right here, I'll put it on the screen cause I'm not quite sure what it's called and you will get into a free view. So you're just gonna move with W, A, S, and D and just move your camera to where you want it to be. So we're just gonna move in front of the character so I can show you some different HDRIs. And when you are done, just hit the left click button and there you go. So now we are going to get some HDRIs and I will show you how to do that right now. I get all of my HDRIs on this website called hdrihaven.com. So once you get on this website, I will leave a link to it down in the description below so you can find it. What you want to do is hit HDRIs up here. You're going to go up here and then you can go through all these different ones. So you can hit all outdoor skies, indoor studio. So pretty much you're just going to go through and look for any kind that you want. So we'll just hit all and look at some different ones. So the first category we'll look at over here on the left is probably sunrise sunset, just to show you all the different kinds you can get. So maybe we'll download this one. So once you find an HDRI you want, just click on it and it'll bring you to this screen. You wanna go down here and download the 4K ones. So you're just gonna click that, hit save file and save it to the folder that you are using. Make sure you have a folder that you are using to make your GFX. So we're just gonna go to the folder I'm using and hit save. I'm just gonna download a couple different ones. You can just hit the back button. And I think we'll also get maybe this one. So just click it, go down, hit 4K, hit OK to save it and save it to the folder that you are using for your GFX. So we're just gonna do that. And I think we'll get one more. So maybe we'll do indoor. So we'll do indoor. I guess we'll just pick the first one and 4K, hit OK, save it to our folder and we are good to go. So now we are good to go back to Blender to add our HDRIs. So how you add them is you're gonna have all these different tabs over here. You wanna go down to the little earth and click that one. Now that you are here, you are going to go to color, hit this little circle beside color and hit environment texture. And now you're going to hit the open button and you are going to find the HDRI you just saved. So here's the three we just saved. I'm just gonna open the sunset one. So we're gonna click that 
and now it should be open. So how you can check your HDRI and see how it looks, you're gonna go in the top right corner over here, you're going to hit this little shaded circle right here. You're gonna click that, and it should load your HDRI. And there it is. As you can see, we have different lighting, and I think it looks really, really good. All right, so now that we have our HDRI, and now, obviously, you probably want a transparent background instead of this background, though if you want it, that's okay. But if you do not want this background and want to be able to add your own, I'm going to show you how to make the background transparent. So what you want to do is go over here again on the right. You're going to click this little TV camera looking icon. You're going to go down to film. You're just going to click the little triangle to open that up and hit transparent. And now your background is transparent. So on the right again, we're going to go back down to the little earth and I'm going to add in more HDRI so I can show you guys how different ones look. So if you don't like how the HDRI looks that you added, all you need to do is click this folder again and you can open a different one. So let's try this one. We're just going to double click that and it's going to try and load in. It might take a second. There we go. So here's a different one with different lighting. And now again, if you want to add a different kind, all you need to do, click the little folder click the HDRI you want to use and then here's another one just gonna take a few seconds to load in and there it is all right so when you are done adding your HDRI and are ready to render all you need to do is go to the top left corner hit render and then render image and then it'll just render for you really quick it might take a little bit of time and there we go so there's your rendered image so that is how you add HDRIs in the new Blender version 2.8. I hope this helped you guys out. Again, if you want to see a full tutorial of how to use a rig and move around your character, make your character have a pose, and just in general how I make my GFX, let me know down in the comments down below. But anyways, guys, if this video helped you, please be sure to leave a big thumbs up so other people know it is helpful. And if you are new to my channel, please be sure to subscribe and hit the bell so you get future notifications whenever I post. But anyways, guys, that is all I have for you today. If you have any questions, comment down below, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye! Bye.